morning everybody tiny house dreaming here it's friday morning tgif um i'm headed over to the terminal hopefully the shuttle here at the hotel will take me over there so i don't have to call prime and have them come pick me up we'll find out in a minute um but my truck is in the shop it's been in there since 6 a.m this morning i needed my gearbox was leaking and um my axle hub seal was leaking um so those are the two things that i need them to fix for me and the guy when i dropped my keys off yesterday before i came over to the ramada he didn't seem like it would be like a super long time he was like you know we should have it done by eight ish o'clock so that would have been two hours um, for my appointment time. So I'm hoping by the time I get over there that it's close to being ready so I can get out of here. But if not, I'll just keep helping the students. So that's cool, but I really rather be on my way. But I will talk to you later. I'm gonna talk to the people at the front desk. Hey guys, I'm back at the terminal. I think Two Tanks is done because he is parked See him right there he's parked in a different spot than I left him so I know someone moved him um, I went to try to find the guy in the office Cody they said his name is but he wasn't sitting in there so I took my clothes to see if maybe I can start washing but all the washers and dryers are taken so now I'm just headed back over to see if I can find this Cody guy find out how much this all costed me get my key back from him and make sure that everything's good and like they didn't just pull it out temporarily or something but I think that I'm good usually they keep it in the bay until they're actually finished so the fact that he's sitting over there makes me feel like they've done it I don't think they were huge fixes I think it was probably just a um probably a simple leak for my gear steering gearbox and the hub axle seal, I think they just needed to put like a new seal around it. So I think both of them were pretty easy um, fixes. But I will find out as soon as I hunt this Cody person down. Let's see. He's still not in the office. See, this is the little office you go and like hand him your keys and they set appointments and stuff. Still nobody in there, but I'm gonna go to the parts department and see if maybe I can find him. Cause I'm ready to go. I've been here since Wednesday and I don't want to be here any longer than I need to be. So we'll see what they say. Maybe they can page them or something. I don't know. I asked about Cody. They all laughed at me, <laughs> but they have my key. I guess I can go check into like the main shop office. He said down the hall, this is the newer building. Um, they're tearing down that old building that right now, like the training and the simulators in. The old break room, if you ever watched one of my old videos where I was doing laundry sitting in that break room, all of that's getting torn down. Um, this is the new building. You can kind of tell like the floor is brand new. It kind of looks like the shop building at the Millennium. Um, they have all the, the like different cool pictures of drivers, pictures, you know, lining the wall. This in here is like the newer um, driver's lounge, you can see. Um, but there's the main shop office. I think I'm about to go into it. She said they can print me an invoice. Let's see. Hello. Um, the parts department gave me my key, and they said that maybe you could print me an invoice because I can't find Cody to oh. know how much my yeah. truck. This is my first time needing maintenance, so I wasn't sure like how everything worked. What's your truck number? 685358. Yes. Did we do work on your AP as well or just the truck? No, just the two things on the truck. I think I still have a couple hundred hours on my AP. We actually fixed comes covered under warranty, then we're. Oh, nice. So I don't owe anything. Right. I like zero balance. <laughs> Is that all I'm... Thank you. You have a great day.
Hey! I'm not bugging them. I was trying to see how much I owe, but I owe nothing. Would you like to say hi to you two? Well, then you can pay me. No, I don't want to pay anybody. Oh, come on. You want to say hi to my YouTube? Hey, this YouTube. is my favorite shuttle guy, Brian. Shuttle guy. I'm not, I'll tell you guys shuttle later guy. about us getting him in trouble. I might have told you guys. But yeah, he will, he's my everything guy. But when I need something for the shuttle, he's my go to man. Like, even when I'm coming in here, I'm like, okay, I got to look for Brian. Hopefully, he's here today. And he was. But you guys, my, um, okay, so she said my power, no, my steering gearbox, they didn't find anything wrong, so even though it looked like it was leaking, it wasn't, the reservoir was full, bye, have a good one, the reservoir was full, um, so there was nothing wrong with that, and the one thing they did fix that hub axle seal, because my truck's under warranty still, um, it didn't cost me anything. So literally, I have a zero balance. I love it. So they didn't even charge me for like time or anything to check on these things. Um, so good thing for me, I like completely forgot about the truck being under warranty, like for parts and different stuff. So I was like assuming that I would have to pay something, which I wasn't really too pressed about because as long as I'm safe, like that's my safety is doesn't have a dollar amount attached to it. So you know but um that's a good thing so the friday is starting out good my truck's done i don't know that i'll even sit around and wait for um um what am i trying to say to do my laundry um because maybe i'll just do it at a truck stop or something i mean the guy in front of me said he only had 20 minutes and i literally see him he's walking that's him right there walking in with his laundry bag so I might follow him in and maybe I'll go ahead and throw my stuff in the washer. Um, yeah, I think I will. Because it's so much cheaper here than it is at a truck stop. But after that, I'm going to get going. I'll let my dispatcher, I seen him sitting there. He didn't pay me any attention, didn't see me walk by. But I see he's here today. So I'm going to tap him on the shoulder, let him know that um, my trucks out the shop and I'm ready to roll so he can get me out of here because I'm ready to go continue making money towards getting this tiny house guys I just remembered I almost left this terminal without remembering to get spare keys made but I just remembered I'm getting two spare keys made I'm at the parks department she has my key shouldn't take but a couple minutes oh my gosh I'm so happy I remembered that because like literally while I was out on the road um I was okay so you know I'm cheap right so when I was in Springfield they charge five dollars here at the terminal here or Springfield whatever um, five dollars to cut a key if you're a leash driver um, I didn't want to pay five dollars I was like oh I'll go to Walmart and get it for cheaper and so literally the whole time I've been out I have um, stopped at countless Walmarts and then none of them have the slot to cut the key so I was like man and especially after locking myself out the other day, like I was like five dollars was such a small price to pay for a key to be able to like have a spare key. Um, so that taught me that everything you can't be cheap. Like even though you think you're gonna save a couple of dollars, it could end up costing you a lot of dollars because that's what it happened to do. But I'm glad that I just remembered um, my clothes are in the washer, so I figure while they're washing, I'll walk over here and see about getting my spare key. Then I'm going to go check on my new orientation people that I met yesterday. They're all so cool. I love getting the energy from the energy that, because I remember like not too long ago, I was in their shoes, right? So like it hasn't been so long that I forgot how it feels to like first get here. The overwhelmingness of like having to learn pre-trip and all of that stuff. Um, but when you first come out here, I mean, even me, I still have that good like, oh my God, deer in the headlights, want to learn everything type of energy. But when you first come out here, you like have such a wanting to do this that like the energy you put off is just like you're trying to soak up everything that um, anybody that'll stop and talk to you or, you know, will has to rub off to you. So I feed off of that energy. I love it so much. So when I was able to like hang out with them yesterday, I say hang out, but you know, I was there for a purpose to teach them pre-trip. I hope that I helped some of them. 
Um, it seemed like by the end of the day, a lot of them was getting the different parts and stuff like that. Some of them were even not needing to use that 10 sheet um, pre-trip paper that we give you. And if anybody needs that that's coming to Prime, I've said it on other videos, I'll say it again. I have a copy of the pre-trip documents. So if you want them to study before you get out here, just to kind of get familiar with it a little bit, um, just email me. My email's in every description down below. My driver code is in every description of every video. Um, so if you're coming out here and you want to use me as a reference, it, you can always find my driver code in any video. Just look in the description box, but I'll be happy to email it to you. Um, one thing, if you're going to use me as a reference or any other prime driver for that fact um, as a reference, you want to do it when you initially fill out your application showing prime interest that you want to come to prime. You can't wait till you get here at the terminal because they won't take any reference names once you get here because it's too easy for you to like talk to somebody and they say, hey, use this person as a reference. Like it's my friend, it's my brother, sister, whatever. But um, if you, when you initially fill out that application, like that short version of the application that goes to recruiting to have them make the first phone call to you um, to talk to you about coming out here, in that application that asks for who is your reference, um, and you need to put, one second guys, I'm sorry. Do you happen to have like an extra zip tie or a little piece of metal? Thank you so much. Um, so if you're, if you know somebody you wanna use as a reference, you have to put it on 685. Oh, I'm sorry. I had this more important my key. <laughs> um, but if you know somebody that you wanna use as a reference, Make sure when you do that initial application that you put their driver code, or if you don't know it, um, at least their name. Like, because once they get here, if they, you try to add it to your application, it's not gonna work and that person's not gonna get credit. Um, Cause I've had plenty of people that like, maybe didn't know my name when they filled out the application and they put Tiny House Dream and they're like, Prime, Prime doesn't know me. Like, I'm not that special where they know me. Um, and definitely not knowing me by linking me to my name from my Tiny House Dream name name um but my name is desiree browning but um so you can use my name or you can use my driver's code or whoever you're going to be using if it's not me just heads up that if you want that person to get credit you need to do it on that initial application or if you forget to do it on that application when the recruiter calls you or like if you call the 800 number and talk to a recruiter while you're still in your home state let them know hey this person is inspire me this is the person that's the reason why i chose to come to prime versus any other company um so that person gets credit because it really does pay off for us as the drivers oh my gosh thank you you are hook up <laughs> she looking at me. she hooked me up look at all these zip ties i can like hang a hundred keys And I don't necessarily need it. It'll be on my settlement. So thank you so much. You have a great day. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to let you know, because a lot of um, drivers, you know, like that's it. It's good money. I mean, it doesn't pay off immediately. I think you have to, like, deliver your first load and you get so much of the bonus for recruiting. And but it like and like once you're here 90 days, you get so much. And then like after six months, you get so much. So like it pays off in increments, but I mean, hey, if if somebody really is me or whoever it is that you're gonna use as your referral, if we really are the reason why you came out here, put our name down. My clothes are in the dryer now. I promised my buddy Tim before I pulled out, I would look for his girls. I don't know their name. He called them his girls yesterday and he said, I just want another woman driver to give him a word of encouragement. So. I'm walking out to the pad looking for Tim's girls to maybe give them some encouraging words if they need it or just say hi and meet some new coming female drivers. He said they're doing really good so I don't think it's like words of encouragement that they're not doing well because he said that they're really getting it done out here. Um, so basically it's just me just saying man i've been in your shoes just a few months ago i was where you're at you're gonna love it you're gonna kill it and you know some smiles pass around a smile that's the least you can do it's the easiest thing you can give is a smile so i don't know where these girls are though 
So we're going to see. I see one of my friends over there, but I need a vest. I just realized I always walk out here. See everybody on the pad? They all have yellow vests on. So I have to go back to my truck, get my yellow vest, because you're really not supposed to walk out there, because there are students, you know. It's a lot easier for them to recognize a person in yellow, because they have so much stuff on their mind when they're out there trying to back up. You don't want to just be walking around, blending in with the shadows. So I'm going to go get my vest and um, go try to find Tim's girls to say hello. But I'll talk to you guys later. I'll check in. Once I know where I'm going before I leave the terminal, I'm going to get my truck washed. It needs it. Two tanks is dirty, okay? But Desiree, I'm too cheap. <laughs> Poor two tanks. He has a cheap mom because um, truck washes typically are about 40 bucks when you go to like a um, 40 actually 40 is on the low side um, when you go to these truck washes outside the terminal so I often do say I will pay that to get two tanks washed but I be needing the wash to be like wherever I stop for the night like if a truck stop or whatever I hate to like get off the freeway just to get a wash um, I always kind of justify like well he's not that dirty even though he really is but it's like i gotta pay and i gotta get off the freeway really such a big baby am i but um i'm here now so i was gonna wait to figure out am i picking up an empty so if i'm picking up an empty i mean even though with using the um blowy thing is super easy um i might as well let them wash out my uh trailer before i head out to wherever i'm gonna go but um so i've been waiting to see where i'm gonna get dispatched to to know what trailer if i'm picking up an empty or if i'm grabbing a trailer that might be loaded to repower somewhere before i actually take my truck through the truck wash so i can get whatever i'm gonna be attached to washed at the same time only makes sense so i have to do that by then, I will have already been dispatched a load, so I'll be able to check back in with you guys and let you know where I'm headed to. So I'll talk to you in a little bit, guys. Guys, I am in Walmart shopping for supplies, but I am on my way to Spokane, Washington. This will be my first time going in a truck to Washington. I've been kind of worried because there's that cabbage mountain that I hear stuff about, but might as well get excited about it, right? Because I am going. I gotta be there by Sunday, I believe. It's only like 700 miles away, and I'm picking up from the from a meat plant. I'm delivering meat to Washington, um, and the place that I have to pick up in is in Hiram, Utah. The last three times I've left the terminal, I've been sent the Utah terminal. I've been sent to that um, spot, so I'm familiar with the pickup location. It's not a issue at all. A lot of space. Your trailer is usually preloaded, so. I'm getting excited for Washington. See you guys on the way.